I brought, I couldn't even imagine spending on a pair of shoes. Oh, oh my God. God. So these are. I would move you all the way to the front though. Oh, that's very sweet That's my you. favorite outfit. Uh, your outfit looks most expensive compared to everyone just off the bat. Dog, this it was $30 thrift, $12 thrift. Yeah, people who are babes does always have hella money. All right, so you gotta go to the front. All right, so move, move I'm gonna come down, over down, here and then gradually sift okay. back through. I like hers. I feel like yeah. she's definitely Yeah, she's three. well put. I if honestly, anything, she's well put. I honestly would put her one, if not two. Okay. Yeah, you I'll look in fashion. Okay, go, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Put here. You got the black phantoms on. Those just came out. So that is might. true. Those did just come out. And so if you're wearing them, then they're probably not your most expensive. You, you can go in front of me go easily three. right now. Yeah, you go through, go through. All right, three. I feel like the denim tears. Those are like $400 uh, pants. Those are $400 okay, okay. pants. He has to be further up. I mean, right behind Lexi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. Hair, I think so. this is a good ranking. You think so? Yeah. Judging I would, right now. I would put myself ahead of you. Go ahead. No, go, go. Bro, please. Yeah. By all means. <laughs> please. I have to go a little bit more ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'd keep down. I'd keep down here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I feel like you should because be, I feel we like can't go off of there. other information though, right? We're going off just aesthetics. Because okay. aesthetics, I mean, you're real low key. Everything right on my body is free. Just stop. Yeah. That's what's up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like maybe Dylan should be right she here. Knows. Yeah. Yeah. Like this. You think so? Okay. Okay. Carhartt pants. Wait, that why worked. did you move Dylan up? Because he has a watch on, and watches are expensive. <laughs> yeah. So. I would move him right here. So you lost. Okay. okay. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. What do we think about this? I, I think like in terms it. of looks and what we can see, I think this is very valid. It's fair. Word. It's super important to keep in touch with the roots of where things come from. Uh, you know, for example, the Air Force One, uh, it got popular because kids in the hood, uh, it was known for a long time as actually like a cheap sneaker. And so they were putting them in bargain bins for like 20 bucks for a pair. It's not just what the thing is in this moment. It's everything that's around it. So what do you guys think feel about reselling? I think, you know, um, you can make a lot of money from it. Reselling community helps out a lot if done the right way, but there's a lot of, I know, negativity, you know, with the bots and everything like that, so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like bots. I actually, I developed my own bot. So I, oh, I've been in the scene mm -hmm. uh, on the bot side for a while now. Then you should so. be in the front then. <laughs> <laughs> so basically a bot lets you input different credit cards. You run it on certain sites. So each site is different. Different bots do different things. They don't always work every drop. It's not as easy as it seems, and it's a big investment. So you're definitely in the front. Though. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Consider, yeah, Let's put you in the exactly. front. I mean, I sell a lot of my shoes, too. But does it matter? You have access to yeah, you, really limited pairs. You have access to lots are hard of for regular right. people like me. I don't buy, I buy everything retail. So I will enter mm -hmm. so many raffles, like around like 20 each drop, and I get L's on every single one. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. people like you. Bots. <laughs> ruin the sneaker community, but I understand they need to make their hustle and make the money. These botters, they're getting all the pairs that, that are in my size, which is kind of frustrating. Head of the line, I man, head of the line. I'm just saying, I don't necessarily agree I like with that. this. I mean, yeah, but that's not yeah. big a sneaker head. That's, mm. well, but if, he still if he's collecting, access. if he's keeping them. And well, then, he's, yeah, he's selling them, so assuming he's, he's selling them, he's selling them a lot. As a sneaker head. Like the UNC fours, I think I got like 40 pairs of those. That's why I didn't get a pair. A few of them were for other people, and I, I didn't keep any of them. So you probably made like, let's just say average, maybe three, four grand on a pair of UNC fours, right? Yeah, Realistically, but, you have a lot of money. You might be splurging out on shoes for all we know. But not necessarily. I might be making on botting, but I don't necessarily spend it back on shoes. We'll yeah. keep you there right now, bro. Okay. <laughs> Does anyone have any ill feelings towards bots? As a female in the community, I'm sure you can relate, smaller sizes have lesser quantity, so it's already very difficult for us to get it, and usually resale value on smaller sizes are higher. So people like him <laughs> be taking all the quantity from us, the people who actually generally would wear the sneakers and not to just make money. Would we put someone that's taking quantity away from the actual people, true collectors? Like, would we value him as I mean, the, at the one spot? I think that's invalid what you just said because I'm a true collector too. No, 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 not I like mean, that. I'm saying- No, I know, but I'm saying you're not necessarily taking away from collectors because if the collector really wants something, they'll just pay for it. It's not cool if it's not expensive. I disagree with that though. I, sometimes, right? sometimes. Like, some of the best joints are not the most expensive ones. It's, it's what it means to you, honestly, because for me, I'm probably the oldest dude here. <laughs> I was in the first Supreme oh, Warehouse right. sale in 05. Okay. So we lined up in Soho. I got a pair of SB Delta Forces. No hype around that joint. They're probably not even listed on StockX right now, but I love that pair. 
because of what it means to me. Right. Yeah. You know, so I feel like that for me is what a sneakerhead is. I kind of want to move him because he said he's an OG and a lot of older shoes yeah, nowadays yeah. are worth a lot more because the market skyrocketed. Or a lot less. You did? No, you said you were at Supreme though, so assuming yeah. you like that Supreme stuff, I know a lot of that older Supreme goodies are like worth 10 times as much as they are back then. So I feel like you got a bunch of old heat that's now worth a bunch of money. I'll be real, I don't even know the prices on some stuff right now because I just got it, right? I got it because this, this looked fire. Uh -huh. So I have no idea, but I'll stand here for now. How do y'all feel about UAs? I mean, yeah. I think they're fine. I don't really care. Yeah, me personally, I don't really care about reps. Like, I get it. Shoot, the shoe game is crazy now. Like, yeah. your average Joe is not spending $700 on a pair of shoes. Fine by me, right? Cool. Realistically, though, if you buy a rep, just don't sell it as real. Yeah. Don't try Don't try and make a business. Because that's scammy. It. Yeah, because I'll be real. I, there's some pairs back there that are reps mm. that I brought. <laughs> Out of your, like, collection, how many that's of them are reps? Yeah. There you go. Say probably about 20%. Yeah. So I'm happy to slide. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm, 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 Only because yeah. you said you had reps, so for all we know. Oh, I definitely got reps. Can you guys discuss how you got into the sneakerhead community? Okay. Yeah. My dad's a big sneakerhead, yeah. so all he put me in was Jordans, and I didn't like it because it was more of, like, a guy thing back then, mm -hmm. so I thought, like, everyone's going to think I'm wearing guy shoes, but then I bought my first pair in like 2015 and then I was like, everyone complimented me and I was like, I like this. So I'm a rapper, right? Oh, I'm an artist. Uh, and for me, it was really through hip hop. It was, yeah, it was all for the culture, like going to the warehouse sales. That's right. what I'm thinking you need to be up here. Okay. But I personally think I need to be down a little bit. We'll, we'll keep you at number three. I would say three. Yeah, number yeah. three. Yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. feel good about that? Yeah. yeah. I, went to, I went to go to Nike with my grandmother and I finally got the Weatherman foam pauses. That was the first ever shoe I got. Nice. I remember vividly, 274 bucks. And that was so much money to me because I was a third grade. I shouldn't, yep, I shouldn't yeah. get a shoe like that. Yep. I still I still buy a lot. I have like around 50 pairs right now, but I do like to wear, you know, boots more than anything. You have great style. So I think you should be like right here. Actually, it's right. me. Uh, my first shoe when I got um, onto the basketball team was a pair of Derrick Roses. And then basically I started growing my knowledge. I started like obsessing over just having the better kicks because I didn't have any Jordans and I didn't like have the money for it. And um, eventually I just slowly started getting my way up. How long have you been flipping shoes though? Since, 20, since 2015. And you still do it to this day? Yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit. Okay, so yeah, I think that means I think you gotta be over like here. Maybe yeah, in the yeah. middle or like yeah. third. Okay. okay, but Dylan, how many pairs do you have in your collection? Um. In my collection? Okay, wait, not even collect, inventory. Inventory, yeah. Wait, how, how do you know that I got inventory, though? The Dude. way you move, bro. <laughs> wait. Yeah, um, like over a thousand. I definitely put you ahead of me, for sure. All right. And then yeah. what about you? I've got like 150 pairs probably right now. I have about 600, so. Yeah, like, I'm at like, well, I'm, well, you're I'm happy. I'm happy to be over here. I'm happy to be with the, the peasants. Yeah, I would yeah. say you're up a little bit. For now, Three? you're up no. one. I'm, yeah, that, that sounds right. I'd say out of the 50 pairs I have, there's like 30 pairs that like sit on ice. Cause there's some shoes that I view as like, it's like real estate, you know, shoes go up and down. I view them more so as like an asset. I personally don't wear like most of them. I yeah. like to wear all my shoes. I, would, I wear all my shoes too, but there are certain shoes that I wouldn't wear. Like if I were to ever obtain them, like the Paris Dunks or the Nike Mags, those are like art pieces. Those right. are- Oh, well, you say you have the Mags? No, no, no. Oh, okay, no, okay. No, no. I, I, I was like, move. I, I would've won our- <laughs> that's, 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 that's one of my grill sneakers. There's art pieces I would, and then there's just, you know, wear and tear all day stuff. hundred so. percent. What are your everyday shoes? For me, I wear like slides or Crocs. Yeah. Yeezy slides. <laughs> now the Salehi Crocs are the best everyday shoe. Those wear so good. Right, okay. Yeah. I've been wearing those all year. Man. Mainly when I go out, I wear a lot. I'm like a big Rick Owens guy, so I wear like, yep. these aren't Rick Owens, but these are, <laughs> it's similar, but I have, you know, platform boots. I have a couple Rick Owens pairs. I have like about I four. I think move you yeah, a little feel, bit up. Like, yeah. Yeah. Rick Owens, yeah. Yeah. they're, they're kind of up there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. My beaters are Jordan 1s and Jordan 3s. My everyday beaters are the Off-White University um, Dunks. I do oh, beat those. Okay. I didn't want to wear them at first, but then yeah. I was like, let's oh, just do it. You don't want to beat. <laughs> I don't beat them, but I wear them a lot. Well, like if we're looking at like who has the most expensive, I'll, I'll put her ahead of me just for beaters, right? Like, yes. Mm, yeah. I'll put you ahead yeah. of me. Yeah. My beaters are off-white pine dunks. Yeah. You're with me. Yeah. I'll put myself okay, here. We're trying so, to find the person. In, like, in my opinion, you should be up a little bit. I'm fine with staying down here. You can go up one. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, don't know, I, I feel right like here. the SBs. SB highs or SB lows? We I got both. Both. 
but like yeah. majority of SB lows. Majority are lows. I feel like yeah. I should be here. I just I have I a feeling I, you're done. I would say <laughs> my, my biggest beater is off-white Europe. Oh, you got the whites? But okay, he could have got wait, them wait, for wait, retail, though. Wait, 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 I did not get them for retail. Even if he didn't he get them for retail. But he could have got them in the beginning stages. But the value on that alone. You okay, mean? okay. You toss you, how, there. how about we'll put you Third? like here? If you got, no, right here, second. Yeah. Or, or you can go, you can even go first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go yeah. first. Yeah. All right. That's a six thousand, five six thousand dollar pair. So when he said it was a, a beater, I was just like, yeah, you're going to front. Seventh, Abdel. Sixth, Natalie. Oh. oh okay. okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. This. We're pretty good at going. Fifth, Lexi. Ah oh, damn. Oh. oh. I'm all right. All right. Uh, Fourth, Alex. Okay. No. <laughs> All right, we got two wrong. That's okay. I was okay. I was telling you he's I, up there. I was telling you guys. Sleeper. Too. Jason. Third, Dylan. Okay. I knew it. Okay. Oh my God. I think we should. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I told What'd you. you bring? Second, Jason C. Oh, dang. Okay. okay. I told you I was right. He I am this right. man here. Where? He said this. What? Oh, I'm wearing a $5 Nautica. It's oh. this five bucks, I swear. Oh. First, Jason H. Okay. I told you. So I brought the Travis Sales. These I bought for 450, worth around 1200 new, I think. I like low-key wear these all the time. So like I don't really keep many of my expensive shoes. I just can't bring myself to keep something that I could just sell. So I brought the off-white fours. Oh, hey. I saw that I knew, coming. I knew. It matches my outfit. Okay. It was two pairs of off-whites I had to trade for these. And these are definitely a grail. These are off-white four sales and they their value is 1,300. So I actually brought the same. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> same as him, but sizes, yeah. the sizes are different, so yeah. the price is different. I actually got these for like 300 from my local reseller for brand new. They're going for about 1400 in my size. I brought the original Travis Scott Mocha. These are brand new at, I believe, 20 to 2500 but I got them for a good deal. I think I got them for like around 1400 For me, I bought a childhood Grail. All right. You had to bring them out. So it was. these were actually very special to me because I've always wanted these as a kid. I actually bought them for $900. Yes. Right? The value of these sneakers are now $6,000 brand new. And um, you guys see the bottom. Right? Brand new? Aww. See the bottom. They're, they're pretty clean. You know what I mean? So. You want to <laughs> trade? You want to trade? I'll sell them to you right now. How much? 4000 No. <laughs> All right, so for me, and there's a long story behind these. So these oh. are. Oh. 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 Wait, <laughs> what? How you second? Yeah. You got Wait, the right you, October. So, so this one, um, <laughs> right? So when these dropped, <laughs> I was living in China and I was doing music out there and I was doing work out there. And so my best friend, uh, we had a streetwear line together. And so I was like, dude, I need these. Like Nike's gonna surprise drop these. This shit's gonna be crazy. So I didn't buy them at Nike. Mm. And I didn't buy them through the Nike drop. My boy went and he talked to his people because he knows the people at the factory. Yeah. So and I've worn these, I wear these for Lunar New Year. You know what I'm saying? Like I have. So to me, this is not only like, you know, my most valued pair, but Very I've got so many memories. Yeah. And it's the real yeah. man. You want to trade? <laughs> Let's trade right now. <laughs> hey, as hey, you know, I have the most expensive. One. I don't think you guys were prepared for this. Man, I'm going to pull out a solid gold shoe. I don't know if you guys know what I have, but um, I've been in the game for some time, so. Oh, oh my God. God. Damn. Okay. Oh. Yo, big ups. That's of a brand new rare. pair that is of Nike SB Pairs Dunk Lows. And a size 10 and a half. I have owned these for just shy of a year and a half now. Wow. So I paid $81,000 for these last year. And the current value of these is roughly like 100 to 120 grand. Yeah. You know, there's only 202 pairs in the world. But each shoe, if you look, each shoe is completely different in terms of the artwork. So no pair will look identical to one of the 202 out there. So every pair left and right is technically considered one of one. Great. Yeah, these are these are very crazy. I actually own two pairs. I have a worn one and then this is the brand. I, but there are certain shoes that I wouldn't wear. Like if I were to ever obtain them, like the Paris Dunks. But, what do you do for work? <laughs> uh, I sell shoes. 
So I sell very high-end shoes, that's what I do full time. I used to make nine bucks an hour lifting 500 pound couches by myself. And uh, eventually I saved up my checks and I got like my first crazy pair of shoes, which was a pair of off-white Jordans. I've always had a passion for them. I couldn't afford them. My parents weren't lending me money to buy the crazy stuff that I always wanted. So I had to work for it. And eventually that passion turned into a business, which is now what I do today. Can I, can I ever? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel free. You pass them down. It's like, oh, a, like show and tell. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good like on those. I'm not gonna touch them, bro. <laughs> Dude, we really, should all take yeah. a photo. Can you guys take a photo? Can you take a photo? <laughs> they don't smell like anything. I couldn't even imagine spending that much on a pair of shoes. Yeah. I'm not even gonna hold them. You can hold them. <laughs> it's okay, man. Here, let me put them. Nah, bro, that's crazy. I applaud you for buying them. Thank that's, you. Takes I applaud courage. you for bringing those here. <laughs> no, yeah, bring them. You I flew with them? Oh my! He brought both. I would have these. These I had in my backpack though. So these I didn't put them in my luggage. Or nothing. I was walking around like mm. you know, securing them. I had to make sure everything was good.